Where is that place that Lindy brought those burgers from? Right next door, you want to go back? They're yeah. Pretty sick, right? They're fucking incredible. Hey, Daniel Spree. I think it's because of the taste of them. That's why I like them so much. <laughs> 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 and the flavor. <laughs> that was some fucking energy, man. Right? Amazing. Drums? Crazy. You know, obviously being a session guy in LA and playing with a, a lot of drummers, Taylor and Taylor was one of the guys that I had never even met. I didn't know him, but he just stepped in anyways. So, and it, it was funny to see him come in and, and take it seriously because he was, he was like, who else is playing on this? And I told him, he goes, whoa, you got some, some of the guys. Every type of music store I usually walk into, hey man, Phil X. Anytime you want to do a video for us, if it's okay with Fred and Americana, that would be awesome. And then Dan goes, yeah, man, when I go to the Home Depot, they're like, can you build me a shed? <laughs> yeah, I don't get that at, at Guitar Center. And then he walked in and, you know, hi, I'm Phil. Hi, I'm Taylor. And he, you know, basically looks like a very unassuming, he's not the rock star that walks through the door. He looks like he just came from the beach and flip-flops that he kicks off and plays bare feet. And Gannon, who's a fucking psycho, like you know, guitar machine. Um, coming up is, uh, we're gonna get Tommy and uh, Josh is doing a couple of songs. And Matt Gerlin, when he comes, comes back from sound, So it's gonna be a fucking drum fest, right? Yeah, that's great. It's gonna be what it is, really it exciting. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And, and he picked a song, I, sent, I think I sent him two or three. This one, he picked uh, Too Much For My Own Good, which is our, version of secret agent man slash surf slash spaghetti western vibe. Well, I hope you gave me the fucking easy one. <laughs> no, you gave him the one. hardest one, right? <laughs> you gave him the fucking it's hardest split. one, man. 220 <laughs> BPM or? 220 BPM. pretty fast. Yeah, it's exactly. uh, it's like secret agent man. Here. Yeah. The arrangement is Intro, uh, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, into the solo. The solo. I'm, I, I guess I'm kind of surprised of how into it all these guys are. And Taylor was like, yeah, Phil and I like both looking at, you know, I know that he doesn't, Phil doesn't know me, he's never done a session, and we're both like, wow, man, this is so cool. Like, this guy independently gives a shit about what he's doing, and he, he wants to do good, like he's like, you know, I wouldn't say insecure about the part, but he's questioning, he, he just wants, he wants perfection. And he, he nailed it. But, you know, Taylor sat down and, and the, the whole thing that happens is, it felt like we were a band for those two hours that we arranged, tried a different ending of the solo, uh, took a bunch of takes of the ending because we just want to go crazy, go crazy, go crazier. You know, that kind of thing. And then, and then at the end of the day, you got a song recorded. So you really feel like uh, Dan on bass and Taylor on drums and me on guitar. And it felt like that with every drummer. But here we are. We were in a band with Taylor Hawkins for two hours while we nailed the song down as a band. I think one of those kind of things were like, there's no kick drum. But that might not be what you like. Yeah, I, think, that I think we could play, I think you could play what you're playing in the verse. Okay. It's just being you, and then he'll come in on the, the top verse. without the bass. You're doing just just what you're doing to second drum. Yeah. Just we're Canadian. My first. Are you guys both Canadian? Yeah. I'll feel you're Canadian. <laughs> Got my first fucking. Those were my first pro gigs. So we don't have to play this. South Sass, man. Sass, Sass Jordan and Al and Atlanta Sports. And who? Check my two. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, good. All right, let's have a go then. Start the whole Let's thing. have a go with Mrs. Johnson. Let's all queue up and have a go. <laughs> Having a go. <laughs> Come! Ow! Coming at you live.
me one more. Things that we can <laughs> cut up. We can Frankenstein something if we have to. Let's hear that Frankenstein film. Dude, it's so awesome. It's really good. Ow. God, I don't have my water. When are we going to get a good drummer? thing I hear right now is this, this thing in the choruses. I'm not doing all the snares on that. I'm doing the do do ba do ba do and I feel like it needs the, all the snares. On that one. Take the front half of that and the second half of that. <laughs> you guys can fuck with Yeah, we can totally. Yeah, it was, we, are, we definitely have everything we need. Oh, fuck yeah. You got everything? Yeah. Sure? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And it was, it was cool that he did take it seriously and offer that, that, um, camaraderie kind of, hey, I got an idea. And I'm like, well, let's do that. And then Dan would say, hey, why, why don't we try that? And so it was three guys just in the kitchen cooking up some rock and roll. The pub is a little fucked. The which part? That was hard the, 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 the double. The fuck, fuck. Yeah. fuck yeah. You should have recorded that. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, you get the next one. That's cool. Uh, well, I, don't, I, didn't, I didn't hear anything botched or weird. Well, the only weird thing I had was in the pogo section a little bit. I didn't really lock up, so it might have been in the base. Well, no, I think it was me. Cool. I was sitting there, you know, my view is in my peripheral or my hands, and this drummer and Phil, like, and the guys go nuts, and I'm like, this is the guy that fucking plays Wembley Stadium, dude. It's fucking sick. And he's playing on our shit, and he gives a shit about it. It was really, you know, you're kind of standing there like, holy shit, man, it's Taylor Hawkins. <laughs> but yeah, I think you're standing five feet away from him, and you're hearing him smack the cymbals in your face. It was an amazing energy that, that got, you know, created in the pot. <laughs> Producer's Garage. Producer's name is Scott Humphrey. Tommy Lee is working on his first solo project, with, uh, which was Methods of Mayhem. And he's like, we gotta get a guitar player on this. And Scott goes, let's get Phil. And Tommy goes, the guy being in the garage? And Scott says, yes. And so I come in and, you know, paintbrush goes down, pick up the Les Paul, start playing. And Tommy goes, dude, you gotta play on the whole record. So that sparked that relationship. Pretty it's even louder than when you do it underneath. How are you doing underneath? Oh, this is What else are you gonna do in class, man? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck, it sounds like knuckles cracking right yeah, now. It's, no. just little, it's just a little, yeah. it's a little pop in the skin there. Wow. Mm -hmm. Dude, Tommy Lee, man. Tommy Lee, uh, the guy, when I was a kid, I listened to, I was a huge Motley Crue fan, man. Like, I can't even believe I'm sitting in the same room playing, like, not just meeting the guy, but playing music with the guy. His playing has such personality, and uh, it's, it's, you know, you don't wonder why when you meet the guy, you're like, holy shit, like, the guy's is amazing what he does, and he's so, he's so cool, man. You did that, Phil, a couple of times, and I was like, I tried to stay out of the way, 
And then I was like, oh, now the fucking guitar goes away. There's a big gaping hole oh, right behind the bass. So I just, yeah. I did the build with you. Oh, nice. And just, yeah, it, turned, it felt better that way. Yeah. Dope, dope. Yeah, dude. Shit is fucking booking. Because I noticed that there was no snare on it, it just seems like everybody's going. Oh, no, 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 Maybe that could happen once or twice, and then yeah, it goes like crazy into the last chorus or something. <laughs> right. Yeah, there was something cool about that. It just felt cool. Because the other one, you know, first one kind of pushed through, second one releases, and the third one has the riff. Right. Right? I don't know, it might be, yeah. it might be cool. Well, yeah, we had to keep that because there was some fucking awesome shit. Yeah. Tommy's great. His energy is awesome. At the end of, the, of a take, he's like all fired up and, and he's like, whew, whew, like you gave it everything he's, he had and you kind of feel bad going, hey, can we take one more? <laughs> so, but at the same time, you know, he's down. Like, yeah, man, we'll do it as many times as you want. I'm like, no, dude, I think we, I really think we got it. And he goes, no, we can go again. I'm like, I really think we got it. Thanks, man. This is awesome. Fuck. What are we going to do, man? Let's do it again. Okay. He's done this a million times, and and now he's doing it a million and one for for our tune. And I'm like, wow, this is this is pretty cool. Like, you feel like you know the guy, and he doesn't, he doesn't walk around going, hey, man, I, you know, I want a Grammy for a fucking Dr. Feelgood. I'm just like Tommy Lee, dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah, man. That's some good shite, man. That's excellent. Was that the last one that we did? Yeah. I think it was because you said fuck a lot. And that was that. <laughs> and it was fucking on. mad. <laughs> fuck! I know you got pissed at it. I said, yeah. oh shit, it's, it's on now. It's on now. <laughs> um, well, just to put it in perspective, we do it like they used to do it. Everybody playing at the same time. You know, old Motown records are made like that, stuff like that. Um, now, people still make records that, hey, let's take these days and record the drums, and then we'll take these days and record the bass, and then we'll take these days and rec the, record the guitars. And uh, I know that because I still do that for other producers. In this case, we've got three guys playing at the same time, and Tommy goes, I still think it could be a little slower. And then he does something in the solo section, whereas he puts stops in there, and I'm like, whoa, 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 we all gotta stop. So Dan, you stop and I'll stop. And then something else happens somewhere else, and that's that's what happens when everybody is there at the same time and making it, creating at the same time.